Hey friends, so for the next four or five weeks, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different with these videos. So remember back when we had those take home craft packets for Godly Play? We're gonna do a similar thing with these videos. So I'm gonna have a craft that goes along with each lesson and I'll give you some things that'll help you to make that craft. So for this week, you should have everything at your house that you need, but starting next week, um, come up to the church to get a craft bag that'll go along with these videos. Okay, so for today's video, all you're gonna need is a Bible, some markers or crayons, some stickers, and either a paper towel or toilet paper tube. So go find those things, pause the video and come back and we'll get started. So let's start off with a question. Does anybody in your family wear glasses or contacts? What do eyeglasses or contacts help people to do? That's right, they help them to see better because maybe they don't have very good vision without them. What are other tools that help our vision? Hmm, maybe you thought of like binoculars, a magnifying glass, a microscope, a telescope. There's lots of things that can help our vision, right? Well, let's make something to help us think about vision. You may have even heard of something called 2020 vision. 2020 means your vision is perfect. And some people have said that 2020 is a year that we should think about vision, not just actually being able to see, but what do we want our lives to look like? These big questions. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So to do that for our craft, you'll need your little tube, your markers and your stickers. So I want you to decorate this and it's gonna be a special X-ray goggle. I'll show you how it works after we decorate it. So pause the video and decorate your little tube. Are you all done? I've got mine decorated too. I put some glasses stickers on it. I've got a little Jesus sticker and I colored it. So now we're gonna see how these x-ray goggles really work. So what I want you to do is put the tube up to your left eye and then put your right hand out. And if you look forward, when you bring your hand to your eye, you should see like a little hole in your hand. It's almost like an x-ray. If you need some help, maybe your parents can help you, but it's kind of cool. So when we see things perfectly with glasses or if we just have really good vision, like I said, we have 20-20 vision. But if we're thinking about the other sense of the word, vision, like for how we want our lives to be, we don't have perfect vision. I wonder, who do you think has perfect vision? Hmm. I bet some of you guys said God, right? God has perfect vision. And in the Bible, in Psalm 33, 13, it says, the Lord looks down and sees all of humankind. So God can see perfectly. He can see all of us and he has perfect vision for our lives. God can see the troubles that we have. He can see our fears. He can see our worries, our hopes, our joys. God knows everything about us, even the things that we don't necessarily tell people. And we can't hide from God. I brought something that you might remember from Godly Play. What does this look like? It's the whale from Jonah's story, right? What happened when Jonah tried to hide from God? Do you remember? That's right. Jonah couldn't hide from God. God found him even on a ship heading the other direction. God cares about us. He doesn't want us to hide things from him. He wants us to be honest in prayer because he already knows and he wants to show us love, forgiveness, and compassion. So in what ways can we trust God's perfect vision for us? How can we trust God's perfect vision more? I want you to look through your x-ray tubes one more time. We don't have perfect vision, but we are thankful for a God who does. So the last little activity that I want us to do together is I have a new book, another new book from our library. Um, this is called My Jesus Story Collection. And so we'll see how this works. It might depend if you're looking on a computer or an iPad or a phone or a TV, but 
what I want you to do is close one eye and only look through your little tube. And I'm going to show you a picture from one of the Bible stories. And I want you to see if you can figure out what story it is just looking at a small little part. And then I'll show you, you can take it away and you can look at the whole picture. Okay, so you got your tube ready. Here's the picture. Could you guess what story it was? It was the story of Jesus going to the temple with his parents. You might remember that story from the Faces of Easter and Godly Play. Okay, here's another one. Got your tube ready to look through? Okay. I wonder what story this is. Okay, take it down. Can you see it now? This is the story of when Jesus was baptized. You also might remember that from Godly Play. Okay, let's see if I can find one that's a little bit harder. You might only see one thing in this picture, so let's see. Ooh, maybe you only just see water. You can't really tell what story it is. How about now when you take off the x-ray goggles? It's the story of Jesus and the disciples going fishing, and they catch the miraculous catch of fish. So, Again, guys, I want you to remember that for our next video, I will have a craft that you can come and pick up from the church. All the next four or five crafts will be in that bag. So um, you can come up anytime when the church is open. You can also grab one after service if you're coming in person. Um, I hope you guys are having a great back to school experience. Um, remember, even though times are a little bit uncertain. We're not really sure how things are gonna go. We're wearing our masks, we're doing our best. I just want you to remember that God has perfect vision and we can trust God. See you guys next week.